we have landed in Pisa. For some reason, it's like a national holiday today. So it was meant to take an hour and a quarter and it took two and a half hours. Obviously I only did a week. There were no service stations. So the tour bus had to stop at the side of the road and the tour guide was just like guarding me whilst I peed in an Italian bush. So that was the highlight of the day. So now we've just got a little train into like the center of Pisa and we've got audio guides for going on a tour and I think we're going to meet our tour person now have a look at the leaning tower and go on a walking tour of Pisa there's a load of market stalls here it has so much that I want to buy just like random crap that I want to buy but I can't because I went clothes shopping in Bologna and I have some new space in my bag <laughs> Pisa Cathedral. It's, it's big. It's nice and cool, which is good because it's like 30 degrees outside. I don't think this is sunburn. I think it's from wearing my bag. However, I am slathered in sun cream. So the tour that we're on, they're doing it in English and Spanish. So they're doing the Spanish bit now and then the English people go back in 10 minutes. So we're having a wander around take some photos it is massive in here we've got the leaning tower outside as well i'm hoping to get like you know the picture where it looks like you're trying to hold it up i'm keen for that kind of photo so just by the leaning tower it's toasty it's toasty today and we're just waiting to go for some lunch apparently it's leaning because it was on water clay and oh wait where's my tour guide gone I don't know, I can see the other person I'm going for lunch for. It was on water clay and sand and apparently they tried loads of things in the 90s to try and get it to be a bit less leaning. So it was leaning at 7 degrees but now it's back to like, I think she said 3 or 4 degrees because they just like took out a bit of the bit that was like pushing it up. You can go to the top but it's like 300 steps and a massive queue and because we were delayed because of the traffic, I don't think we'll fit it in. A few hours later. We're in Luca. It is warm. It is warmer than pizza. So we're gonna have a tour now by the local guide and then have some free time. I'm eyeing up some ice cream. We're doing a taste test of buccellato, which is a typical dessert of Luca. And it looks a bit like panettone. Yeah. It tastes a bit like sweet fruit bread with spices. It's nice. We've got some free time. We've got like 45 minutes. So I'm gonna try and hire a bike to cycle around the walls. This is the plan. I hope I've got time. I think it's only like three miles to cycle. So we should be fine. Panico Gelateria and they had dairy free flavours so this is hazelnut and then this is the pistachio the lady said she was very impressed with my Italian so I was impressed with her ice cream options mmm oh it's got like bits of pistachio in oh I have some trousers already mm. oh man it's so good Got it from Il Vigano. I don't think I like tiramisu, but I was like, I'm in Italy, I need to try tiramisu. Four. I can't really taste coffee. If you're me. Oh, I can taste the coffee. That is good. Okay, I've arrived in Siena. I'm at the train station now. I've managed to buy, in Italian, a couple of bus tickets so I can walk into the centre of Seattle from here. However, just uh, interrupted my blog. It's like a 30 minute walk. I want to do a city walk around Siena and I'm already quite tired from yesterday and cycle this morning so we're gonna get the bus. 
A few moments later. Okay. I'm still near the train station. I absolutely should have walked. I would have been in like 15 minutes ago. The, the buses are not easy to understand here at all. So I'm hoping the bus that's coming in five minutes goes to the city centre. If not, I'm just going to walk because it's getting a little bit beyond a joke now. I'm finally heading towards the centre of Siena. That was so tricky. So there was like the main train station and then there was the bus station for buses going to like Venice and Florence. And then there was like a bus stop for local buses. And then there was like another bus stop where I actually got the bus from that was like underneath the shopping centre. But like there was no directions of these different bus stops. Like I speak enough Italian to understand how to get a bus. It's not that I'm expecting it to be in English. The struggle is real. which is like the big fat spaghetti that you get in Siena. So I found a place that does it for 10 euros, so here I am. station I've sacked off the bus because as before it was it was not the one if you come to Siena just walk don't rely on the buses because it just they don't match up with anything <laughs> so yeah so slightly annoying I have to get the later train I thought I'd just about made it onto a bus that was going to the station and then he was faffing about with the bus so I was like do you know what I'm just gonna go off and walk because then I know what time I'll get there if I walk and I know like where I'm going so Siena was beautiful didn't get much time unfortunately pretty much finished the Rick Steves audio tour of the Siena walk which was very nice very nice I'm glad I got to see it whilst I was down here so yeah on the way back to the station now and then I'm hoping when I'm back in Florence to get some gelato okay so for some reason how the hell do I get to platform one for some reason my app that I've been buying train tickets on has decided to stop working so where is platform is this platform one I don't know, the struggle is real. Do you know what, mate? I am in the right place. So, the app that I've been using um, to buy tickets has stopped working and I wanted to buy a ticket, which is great. So, I just had a mad rush trying to use the ticket machine, but I think we're good, I think we're good. 